Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. So today I'm going to be doing some French tip press on nails. I think French tips have been trending for a while now. I think French tips will always trend, honestly. But anyways, that's the design I'm doing today. The first thing I'm going to do is to file my um, nail tips. So I'm going to file the nail tips and I'm also going to buff them down. And I'll be back. Okay, so I'm now on, I'm attaching my nail tips. I love this nail tips so much. They're like so, they're like so thick and like firm. Like they don't break easily, basically. So I'm just wiping up the um, dust, and I'm gonna go in with my dehydrator and primer. I'm gonna be using the model ones nail primer and dehydrator. So the first one I'm using is the dehydrator. So using this duo, using the um, primer and dehydrator helps the um, helps the gel polish to stick on really well and helps prevent chipping. So I apply the dehydrator, leave it for like one minute, then I'll apply, I'll apply the primer and leave it for another one minute before I start painting. I love coffee nails, oh my goodness. You guys let me know what your favorite nail shape is and length. I think my favorite is medium almond. Like every every single set I make for myself is usually always medium almond. Until I like put on long nails, like I feel like I can't do anything at all. I'm gonna leave this on for like one minute to dry before I start painting. So now the primer is dried. I'm gonna start applying my base gel. I'm using this gel polish from I Miley. I think that's how you say it. I Miley. I don't know. It's the color 022. I'm gonna apply two coats of this um of this color. Then I'll cure under my lamp for 60 seconds. I'm just wiping up the excess, um, the weapon, I'm wiping up the sides of the nail tips, just so the nail doesn't lose its shape. Okay, so now I'm just um, applying the second coat. Okay, so I'm done applying both coats right now, and like, you guys, look how nice this pink looks, it's so nice already. I could literally just wear this, like, this shade alone, like, no more designs on it. Okay, anyway, so now I'm going to start doing my French tips. And I'm using the um, this white gel polish from Venalisa Polish. I think that's how you say it, yeah. I'll leave the, I'll leave the um, links to all the um, gel polishes I used. Okay, so I'm just drawing my French tips. That's, I don't really know how to explain what I'm doing. I'm just basically... I basically, what I do is I basically make a thin, really thin outline of where I want the... Um, French tip to start then I just go in with my um gel brush yeah I don't know how to explain what I'm doing but you guys can just watch me and see what I do that's what I'm going to be doing for the next like two minutes or so so also an advice when you're doing French tips try to make each um, layer of your gel polish really thin because when I've noticed that when you make it really thick if the um, polish starts to peel off so always make sure your layers are really thin so now i've like gotten a shape that i really like i'm just gonna go in and wipe off any imperfections yeah 
Yeah, so I'm just doing the same thing for each nail. Making an outline of the, where I want the French tip to be then. I just go from there. And so that's what I'm going to do for each of the nails and I'll be back.
Okay, so now I'm done with the French tips. I'm only gonna do one layer since I'm gonna add glitter on top. Doesn't really matter if it's that like pigmented. So I'm just I'm just um, applying some top coat over each nail. Then I'll cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. And I'm using the Mode One's top coat. I like this top coat, but at the same time I don't like it. Like I like that it doesn't clump up like really quickly, but I don't like that it's not very glossy. Like the shine isn't really there. It's not as like not as intense, you know. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna use the same top coat. I'm gonna um basically make the same outline of my French tips, then I'll apply the glitter over that outline. You guys will see what I'm doing in a few seconds. Yeah, so I'm basically redrawing the French tip using top coat. Then I'll apply the glitter over that. So sorry I was out of view at this point, but what I'm doing is just basically pouring the glitter over the uncured top coat. And before I kill the lamp, I'm just wiping off any um, excess glitter. This stuff doesn't really matter that much because like when it's done curing, I can just easily dust off the excess ones, but I still wanted to do it. And I'm going to wipe off the sides too so it doesn't just so the nail doesn't lose its shape. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. I just dusted the excess and it looks really pretty. And I'm just going to file the edges just so everything looks crisp and straight. Yeah, so I'm just doing the exact same thing for every other nail. Just filing each of the nails because like, I can notice that when you add glitter the nail starts like it kind of loses its shape so I'm just trying to get that shape back by filing the edges Yeah, so I'm basically done with the nails. Filing is just the last step. It looks so good already. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Also, I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually make and sell presser nails. I'm going to leave the link to my Instagram page in the description box. You guys should definitely check it out and follow me if you like my content. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!